In this study, we aimed to assess the outcome on management recommendations of a comparative approach versus a morphologic approach in evaluating dermoscopic images of lesions from a series of patients with multiple nevi. In a two-step study, six experienced dermoscopists were asked to provide management recommendations, namely excision or follow-up, for a series of lesions from patients with multiple nevi based on dermoscopic images of the lesions. In the first step, participating dermoscopists evaluated individual images of lesions based only on morphologic structures. This was the morphologic approach. In the second step, the same lesions were grouped by patients, allowing the participants to evaluate the lesions in the context of other nevi from the same patient. And this was the comparative approach. The results of the study outlined that using the morphologic approach, 55% of overall recommendations favored excision. Using the comparative approach, the rate decreased to 14%. The two melanomas included in the study were correctly judged to merit excision by all participants in step 1 and step 2. This is a 26-year-old man with multiple nevi. None of the 11 lesions were excised at the baseline examination and none showed substantial changes after two years follow-up. Using the morphologic approach, namely the single lesion approach, eight of these lesions, namely A, B, C, D, F, G, I and K were scored to be excised by the, at least four of six dermoscopists. But only three lesions, namely E, H and J, were scored for excision by two to three dermoscopists. Using the comparative approach, namely the multiple lesion approach, only four lesions, namely A, H, I and K were scored to be monitored by all six dermoscopists and seven lesions, namely B, C, D, E, F, G and J were scored to be monitored by four to five dermoscopists. In conclusion, this study outlined that among patients with multiple nevi, evaluation of equivocal lesions in the context of a patient's other nevi results in a lower rate of excision recommendations compared with evaluation of individual lesions based on morphologic structures alone.